All right, guys, in this section, we're going to be talking about payment gateways, creating products, creating product variants, and so on and so forth, which is the reason that we are all here on the high level platform is usually to make money in one way or the other. And so being able to collect and take payments through the platform is absolutely crucial. And the nice thing is they make it extremely easy to do. Um, so we're going to start with your payment integration. So what you're going to want to do here is navigate over to payments inside the sub account and then navigate all the way over to integrations at the end here. Um, now, Stripe is by far the easiest one to integrate. There's no question about it, but you also have the ability to integrate PayPal, Authorize.net, NMI, manual payments, and Square, as well as a whole bunch more. I'm gonna cover Stripe because Stripe typically covers the same process as all of the rest. Um, the only difference is gonna be where do you get your API keys and so on and so forth. But as always with High Level, they've made it really, really easy to integrate with most of these. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click the connect button and we're gonna connect our Stripe account. So we're gonna go connect with Stripe. This is gonna open up your Stripe account over here and I'm gonna select which one I want to integrate with. Now I'm gonna integrate this one with the RM marketing account and we're just gonna go and connect. And just like that, we are connected. Um, and so the nice thing about Stripe is that it automatically integrates your live mode and in your test mode. Now, if you use authorize.net or you use NMI or Square, you're gonna have a separate API key for test mode or sandboxes that you are gonna have to connect separately. Um, whereas Stripe automatically connects both the test mode and the live mode um, keys. And so you can start building and testing your products automatically uh, with these different configurations. So um, I've been asked a lot, can you connect different types of payment gateways? Um, yes, you can. What you're gonna end up having is a default and a secondary. So for example, if I connected both Stripe and Authorize.net, I can only have one of those connected at a time. And so by default, whatever your primary one is, is gonna be the one that gets used. And if for whatever reason shit hits the fan and you gotta change it, you can come in and you can change it from there. One of the exceptions here is PayPal. So if you do connect both Stripe and PayPal and you've got product sales, you can have both Stripe and PayPal be an option on your forms um, for payment. And so the one thing that you cannot do, you know, as far as I'm aware, as of November 28th, 2024, is that you cannot do subscription payments through PayPal. So subscription payments have to be done through one of the other payment gateway systems right here. So that is your options. Obviously Stripe is by far the easiest one to set up because um, that's what it was literally built on. Next thing that we're gonna cover here is we're gonna cover some settings. And so receipts are enabled by default. Now this is gonna go out every single time somebody purchases anything from your company, it's gonna generate a receipt. And so you can set up your receipt settings here you can give it a title you can give it a prefix and you can give it a start number now if you've already sent an invoice it's going to go the first one's going to go out with one zero zero one the second one's going to go out with one zero zero two and so on and so forth you can pre-configure the email from name from email and subject line for each one of your receipts that go out if you so choose if you don't fill this in it's going to use the business name and the business email that you have set up in your business settings as the default from name and from email. Now, templates, we're gonna cover this in a later section, um, creating email templates, but you can use the default template or you can create a new email template within the marketing tab over here. And this is where you're gonna assign that template email to be used and go out with your receipt emails. And then adding notes and terms. This is gonna be the default notes and terms that go out on every single receipt. So there's a little bottom footer section on every single receipt. Whatever notes and terms you put down here will show up on those receipts. Okay, so that is your receipt settings. You've got your tax settings, right? Do you wanna include taxes in your prices? Yes, tax will be included in the new price and shown to the customer. It will in, what The price that's shown to the customer will include tax or no, you don't wanna include the tax, the price shown will not include the tax amount. So you can choose which one you wanna use here. And then you can come here and you can add your different tax rates. Now I'm in Alberta, Canada. So our tax rate is Alberta is the name and we charge 5% GST. Um, and then you're gonna to need to put your tax ID number and your um, tax agency in here for your different business. Now, 
I'm typically a little bit more lazy than that and we sell internationally so we don't have to charge GST to everybody. Um, so what we do, we just kind of leave the GST off and we take it out automatically um, at the end. But you can add all of your different tax rates here if you so choose. Um, you can add enable automatic sales tax and then you have to choose a tax category. Now there is a crap ton of different tax categories in here. Um, so I'm not gonna go through them all. You just kind of gotta find the one that fits best for you. Um, and then you're gonna select that. And then I'm Canadian, so I don't know exactly what this Nexus States is, but I'm assuming you've just gotta select your state that you're in here. Um, and then you gotta agree to the terms of service and then you click save and your tax settings are now set up. What this is gonna do is that you can then, when you create a product, you can assign a default tax to it, which we're gonna be covering in the next video. Um, so I will be creating a tax rate here and then I'll show you guys how to assign those tax rates to different products. Next up is notifications. So abandoned cart notifications, you can have this set up and turned on by default if you so choose. You can also do this in workflows and automations as well, but we're gonna just show you guys how to do it here. So again, um, this is gonna be used for the store function instead of the product function. So we'll cover that in a later video as well but you can select which email template you wanna use unless you just wanna use the default one. Basically what's gonna happen is if they load things into their cart and they kinda of start the checkout process but they don't complete it, send after 10 minutes and then it's gonna send this email saying, hey, come on back and grab the stuff that you were gonna buy that you decided not to buy, right? And then we've got the order confirmation email for stores. Do you wanna enable it or disable it? You can just toggle that on and it's enabled. Um, if you toggle it off, then you're going to have to use workflows um, to do this for you. Okay, shipping and delivery zones. So you can add shipping prices based on the shipping zones. So let's just say we're going to do Canada. Um, we're going to select Canada over here, and then we're going to select all of the different provinces. Now, if you don't want to ship to a specific province, like none of it, sorry guys, um, or the Yukon, you can just unselect them. Um, and there you go. And now we can have different shipping rates for different shipping zones. So if you wanted to get this even more granular, you could say instead of Canada, this is just Alberta. So shipping within Alberta could be free because it's in the same province as us and might be a little bit easier. Um, whereas if I'm gonna be shipping all the way to Ontario, there's gonna be a shipping charge for that. But let's just go ahead and click add. Um, and then you can add your shipping rates here. So let's just say the rate name is out of province. You can add your description, then you can say, hey, it's gonna cost $50, um, and then you can add conditional pricing. Um, you can do it by order price, or you can do it by item weight. Um, so you can say, hey, if the minimum price of the order is $20, um, and the maximum price is 50, then that will apply the shipping rate to it as well. If it's So that's how that works. And then if you wanted to do item by weight, you can select that as well, and there you go. You've got different shipping prices for different shipping requirements and then you're going to do the shipping origin so this is going to be by default the address and information from the company settings but if you guys wanted to change this like there's your customers got a warehouse somewhere that they do all of their shipping then you can add all of that information into here and that is going to be your shipping origin address on products so there you go guys that is your integrations and your settings for payments and now we're ready to get started and creating and adding products. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high level and getting your white label started with the high level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday through Friday for two hours a day, where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support plus, a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL Mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.